More unbelievable video emerging from another Alberta community struggling with the flooding disaster. This home getting swept away by the powerful wow. Bow River from the Hidden Valley Golf Resort. It here comes smashes oh. into a bridge lost forever. Now four communities at Six Sick Nation as well as the Hidden Valley Resort have suffered serious flood damage. 1,000 people have been forced out of their homes. A boil water advisory is in effect on the Six Sick Nation and an emergency reception center has been set up at the Deerfoot Sportsplex. Situation also dire folks uh, for folks in Hidden Valley. About an hour east of Calgary, highways there have been cut off, and on some parts of the Siksika First Nation, water levels have reached the rooftops. Here's Paul Hasem. Thank you very much. I'm standing in front of a bridge between Hidden Valley Resort and the Sitka First Nations Band. And as you can see, it's a bridge to nowhere right now. That's because the resort is completely submerged. There are 305 cabins, and you can, you can just see the tops of them, really. It's a sad, sad sight. Now, it's the Sitka Band also. A lot of their homes are submerged. They're the other side of this bridge right now. We're just on the town in the town of Galician, which is about 100 kilometers east of Calgary. And as you can tell, this is a, a terrible, terrible zone for these owners of these cabins. I mean, they're losing their summer home, but also a lot of memories. A lot of good memories have gone down to down the river. Do we just forget about it and walk away, or do we do something that will um, rebuild? But that's going to take a lot of money. When I left home this morning, I was hopeful, but I'm, I'm really not anymore. Now, I spoke to some people from the Sitsitka Band, and they said nearly 200 of their homes are also submerged in water, so they are suffering big time as well right now. And some of the cabins from the resort have actually come off the foundation and hit the bridge. Three cabins, what we've heard of, have come and hit the bridge. There's actually part of a roof still attached to part of that bridge. Now, I'm just going to bring the camera in. You can see the area just on the edge of the bridge, the cement, the soil. It's going away right now, and that's scary because that could mean that this entire bridge could be wiped out in just a matter of days. We'll throw it back to you guys. All right, Global's Paul Hasem reporting from the Six Sika Nation tonight, and our thoughts are with you folks there.